بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي In this lesson I will I will complete or I will finish the the rest of the connections and the rest of the things that remain in the previous tutorials as we know we have this connection if we if we if we look at here uh, we see there's a joint you see as you see here there's a joint that uh, joint between these two plates you see here there's a, a joint here and with these uh, bolts and uh, let's see how we can create these joints uh, before uh, this joint is different from this uh, joint because uh, here we have three three beams we have three beams and here we have only one beams so uh, we are going to go uh, go to the uh, column and beam okay so here uh, from uh, column to beam here we are going to because we have a beam and the column so we are going to seek from uh, this joint is uh, we see which joint is uh, suitable for us you see uh, not this joint not this one yeah this one gable wall and plate okay so the selection order is uh, first i have to uh, select the rafter after that i have to select the column so click here uh, let's say this is rafter space and this is the column space okay as you see now uh, we have uh, this uh, this plate okay so uh, what we are going to do we are going to uh, put uh, projections if you want if we want projections let's say uh, from beam if we say we want 100 projection you see or we want to suffer uh, zero sorry suffering so in our uh, in in Kurdish sorry okay or we can total or we can uh, say by bolts as you see we can uh, use our uh, distances by uh, bolts. so from this projection we want to 80 uh, 40 maybe from this 40 maybe from this 40 and you see uh, every time the uh, the plate uh, will increases if we look at from this angle we see uh, this beam as you see here the beam so uh, for uh, the beam uh, ball distances let's say we have three as you see here we can modify at any time no problem we see here or we can just uh, ball distances we have uh, three or we have four but I think we have six bolts per. Uh, let me see the drawings that we have for this one. Yeah, four by four. Okay, so four by four. Just right click, uh, advanced joint properties, and we can uh, the plate thickness is have to be twenty. Okay. So we can just uh, use by total or from beam. It doesn't, ma it doesn't matter. Play loud. It's from beam, and the projection. We want to put z zero and zero. You see, and the ball distances. Uh, ball distances. Let's say we have four, and the intermediate distance. Uh, Intermediate distance, how much? Uh, let's say 70. I don't know uh, how much we have, uh, but it doesn't matter. I don't want to take uh, more time than required. Or uh, again, we can just, just if we want to uh, till here, we can uh, choose total, and after that, we can get uh, this one the total height of, of the column. As you see, like this. Let me and after that maybe the intermediate distance horizontal distance let's say the between this point uh, this bolt and this bolt let's say 150 it's just like this after that we can use bolts and the bolt type uh, let's say we have uni this one and if we want to make slotted we can slot it from plate or beam or anything else but uh, here the trigger point here 
uh, every time every time when, when we need uh, make slots slots for fabrication is better than uh, it's better for us if we go to uh, put the slots in the plates and not on the in the beams because uh, maybe all oh, most of the fabric uh, fa uh, factories that don't, don't, don't they don't have um, in a or exception meshes for for making slots in beam so uh, when we cut uh, the plates with the uh, CNC plasma it's better if we uh, are going to put the uh, slot a hole in the plates not in the beams okay after that we don't uh, need any any uh, we don't need any uh, we don't need any stiffeners okay so that's that is very very good uh, anyhow uh, we are going to now uh, we are going to put here here again uh, some uh, joint is here again we have to use this joint middle gap or uh, we are going to use post double beam as you see the selection order column rafter one and rafter two so just click here select the column space first rafter space and the second rafter space as you see now uh, it will open up the uh, it's this dialog box and to, from general uh, I'm going to push the uh, gap between uh, members zero we don't need any gap okay for the plate I'm going to uh, use 20 millimeters as you see here and uh, for projections for projections let me uh, you see from beam or we can just use total and the plate thickness is uh, 350 or if we want because I think um, we have uh, we have where is this, this one don't know let's say 40 if we want uh, 150 from this side and the second uh, 150 from, oh, I'm sorry zero 150 maybe to this next side or maybe more as you see here because uh, our beam our in our design let me close this one first in our design this this beam is more than more than required you see it's out out of the column uh, anyhow just let me click again right click advanced joint properties and from this side uh, is uh, if you see uh, where is it place we, we have 300 so we want to be uh, 350 so by 25 and 25 we are going to uh, increase our uh, plate again for the uni i'm going to use uni or any type of uh, bolts that you want to use no problem uh, beam mm, along let this be the same thing uh, number per side i think we have three or i think no here we have one okay here we have just one because uh, i have to put this one three not not that one I think yeah just let me orbit around yeah as you see it's like this but I'm going to put here only one okay as you see yeah and uh, but from the outside which is the increasing bolts from this bolt I will I'll have to uh, put uh, in both sides and I want to two groups each and from start and from end I have to uh, check this too because uh, I want to this this distance be from this bolt so let's say 50, uh, 70 and 70 from bottom also we have two 70 by 70 it's just like this if we want we can increase this middle uh, bolt as you see it's like this so it's very good 
Okay, so we could get uh, this called join again. After that, I have to use the select the uh, this one. Maybe, maybe I don't know. I have to check it. Yeah. So this is for for that one. So I'll uh, select this one and right click propagate join. Again, if you don't, uh, if you miss the uh, part uh, one and two and three. So uh, check out that one because there are some trick points there also. Here I'm going to, uh, I'm using Advanced Steel 2020. If you don't have uh, Advanced Steel 2020, you, have, you, have, you can just uh, copy this connection to the rest of the, of the connections, okay? So uh, that is the thing that you have to do. Uh, because I'm, uh, in Advanced Steel 2020, there's an update or there's a new feature uh, which is called a Joint Propagate. Okay, so if you don't don't uh, use this uh, version of advanced steel, you can just by copying and paste this connection, you can do uh, the same thing uh, very easily. It needs some time, uh, so I'll, I'll uh, wait till it uh, take its time, and uh, because this project became more heavier. Because we have many, many bolts, many, many plates, and uh, little by little will be heavier and uh, will be more. So now we have, uh, we don't have any problem. I'm sorry for making this. Yeah, there's some mistake in propagate joint that I have. You see here, it became everything is uh, changed like this. So I have to control Z. Uh, by the way, by the way, I have uh, a tutorial on how we can fix this problem in propagate joint in uh, Advanced Steel uh, 2020. And so I'm going to use uh, the same technique here uh, because it's uh, it needs uh, really it needs many many times. That as you see here, uh, I don't want to uh, use this one because propagate joint when we have uh, three uh, things with the same with the same thing it uh, it will uh, put them so I'll delete uh, these jointes any extra joint I'll delete it just by selecting the plate and delete and plate and delete you see uh, because we have one two three three members connected here uh, and uh, the same thing here you see Three members, any three members connected. Uh, so copy this and join to that one also. So uh, the rest we fix it, no problem. Uh, and by the way, how we can fix this one? We can select just select uh, all the beams, columns, beams, columns, beams. Uh, we can just select columns and beams and this connection and uh, let me try this beams connection and columns as I uh, discussed before or I can just use uh, any advanced steel features what can I do I can just uh, say assemblies or I can, what I can do, I can isolate, right click, isolate, isolate objectives, you see, by isolating it's like this, and uh, isolate, and isolation objectives, there's a difference, so what's the bother selection for, I can uh, write select, and P for previous, you see, what I want to do, I want to select assemblies. I want to select, uh, yes, yeah, first select and uh, yes. select assembly objectives. Okay, as you see now, we can we can propagate propagate uh, this uh, propagate uh, this joints or if we want, we can copy uh, this one. We can copy this one. Let let me let me try. Uh, this with copy this one because I have a tutorial. I want to, I want to, I want you to go uh, uh, to that uh, tutorial. 
that tutorial and uh, look at it so I will copy this one from this one just uh, select one plate sh uh, space and as we know first we have to select the columns rafter one and rafter two you see now it now now it will now it will open uh, all uh, now yeah as you see it copied this one again the same procedure uh, this one space this one space and this one space uh, again the same thing it needs some time but no problem uh, for the per person that they don't uh, use in advanced till 2020 they have to copy in this way or uh, you can uh, go to if you uh, for the person that uh, using advanced steel 2020 uh, you can just go to uh, check out my previous uh, tutorial uh, how to uh, fix a big uh, problem in propagate uh, so you can fix that problem and you can using uh, this pro uh, propagate joint also I will put uh, the link uh, below in the uh, description uh, for the person that uh, they want to use uh, propagate joints uh, again I'm copying all the joints here uh, from here and from here and from a anywhere else so I copied everything and that's the main thing that remain is to copy the rest of the joint this, uh, as you see I'm going to use this one by grouping uh, so that it will be uh, group the uh, rafter and this in opposite uh, uh, order you see okay so it's very good again uh, just select this one select the rafter or select the yeah select the rafter first and after that column uh, this is the difference between these two, two uh, connections I'll wait till it copy this joint as you see it needs more time more time more time okay uh, the only thing remain that i have to copy uh, this joint to here and after that uh, okay uh, every every joint is finished here uh, and it needs uh, what it needs it needs uh, some other uh, things for example we have some holes here some holes here some holes here and but because because uh, our our model became uh, heavy well, so we are uh, I'm come back to the my uh, tip and tricks um, lesson that I discussed many many things many ways to uh, when you have a heavy uh, project how you can uh, solve it or make it uh, uh, much much easier easier that you are using so by li for layering um, open up the layers I will put up the layers of the of the wells of the many things for example anchors I don't want uh, for uh, bolts. I don't want the bolts. Uh, okay, uh, maybe joint boxes if I I want joint boxes or uh, sometimes I need uh, joint boxes because I am using propagate joints so that I don't want uh, to be like this. As you see now, it became became uh, more faster than before. So uh, this is uh, uh, this is all for for today and. Um, in the in the next next video I'll, I'll discuss about how we can create this this type of connections with the, the uh, uh, bracing connections and uh, after that in the uh, future future uh, lesson uh, in the next lecture lecture lectures I will uh, discuss how we can make silos also and put it and uh, in this module and we will finish our course so thank you